Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, and welcome back to my channel. Please check out my website, waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your certified Scentsy consultant. So today I have for you my weekly What I Have Been Warming video, and just as a footnote, pretty soon I will put out two videos of uh, part one and a part two of the Bring Back My Bars, all with a warm review. So today is everything from the last week or so, starting with the Lion King bars. And these were really, really fun. I love these colors. I mean, you can see, it just, I wear a lot of these kind of shades. And I have always enjoyed the Lion King as a story. And I loved one of these bars, which is probably a shocker to some people because it's not terribly popular in Scentsyland. And that one would be Circle of Life. I actually put this in my club. Hmm. So this is warm golden amber good sandalwood and vanilla. But I think that there's almost like an earthy, not coconut like sweet, but almost like a coconut husk or some sort of a really interesting, warm, heavy scent in the background that I can't even quite identify, but I love it. And it's not a super strong scent. It throws better than say vanilla bourbon, but not as well as relax, kind of in between the two. And I felt like it just made my home very, very relaxing and softly warm. And it definitely reminded me of Africa. My husband has done mission trip in Kenya and there are certain scents and smells and impressions that he has brought home from that that just you don't get over here in North America. And this seems to really go with some of the things that he has said. So that is Circle of Life. I thought it was wonderful. If you really don't like woody and woodsy and that little bit of a bite that you get from those types of smells, this one may not be for you, but this one was a winner for me. And the newer Lion King bar is in the jungle. And this delivered exactly what you would think it would, which is lots of greenery. And it was very nice. It was super strong at first and then it died down a little bit. And then at one point it just sort of fell off a cliff. So I will say that I think Circle of Life may not have been as strong out the gate, but it lasted longer at a more sustained level. So this one is nice. I don't think I'll be getting more. I have this plus another full bar. It's the sort of thing that I'll melt when I'm in the mood and I'll appreciate it, but I won't be going through tons of it. If you liked Rainforest Bungalow and you liked our newest uh, cactus and sea salt or whatever that one is, I can never remember the name of that, from the summer collection, this sort of falls in the middle between those. It's not super intense. It doesn't have like a bite bite, but it's very green and it is quite nice. All right, then another thing that's on the newer side that I have been melting is the bar that will come out for everyone June 1st, that as consultants we can get a scent of the month kit early, and that is Red, White, and Berry Pie, and this is wonderful. I'm really enjoying it. So Red, White, and Berry Pie. So Red, White, and Berry Pie is just this great cherry, raspberry, little bit of pie crust, summer goodness. I, I just love it. So does it last a long time? No. Does it last long enough to kind of fulfill your craving several hours? Yes. And it does have a little bit of a pastry bottom on it. Not real heavy though. So I would say like comparing to sweet plum pastry, I feel like there's more crust in this, but it's still not a really discernible note. And if you don't like it by itself, then a thing that I did do with it to give it more bakery goodness was to pair it with Clementine Cupcake, which was very nice. And again, this isn't going to last a long time as a mix because Clementine Cupcake is a few hours too. But it gave you more of like a cake and the vanilla-iness. And there's a Clementine note in Red, White, and Berry Pie, surprisingly. So it brought out some of that too, and it was really juicy and beautiful. Okay, so... I have a few, a couple of the things from the summer collection that I have continued to melt. Probably my favorite of the four is the Kukui and Coconut. Now this one's not a boomer, it's sort of a softer, medium light level performer, but it fills the space well enough to really be appealing. And I know this has Kukui nut, it's got the coconut, it has a little bit of jasmine I believe. It is an elegant, complex, tropical scent and I really like it. If you have white sands, 
this would be amazing and alternate warmers with that when the weather gets really nice and hot i will be doing that great bar keeping that in my quarterly club probably for the long haul the other one that i really have been enjoying is the peachy and palm trees now this one some people are loving some people are hating i had been waiting and waiting for scentsy to do a creamy summer peach scent with some tropical undertones this for me is perfect and it's done beautifully for a couple days in my bedroom. It does well for one day out here in the open space. I tend to go nose blind to it because it's like a sweet concentrated scent where you walk out of the room and come back in and think, oh, there it is again. So I don't think there's a performance issue. It's just the particular notes on this are kind of floaty and they can get lost, but it's a really, really nice. And I have been enjoying that. I don't know that that will stay in my club as long as Kukui and Coconut though. All right, now another thing that we were doing was experimenting about things that you could mix to get scents that maybe we love and miss, my younger daughter. We had this one sad little discolored cube of sea, sun, and fun left in clamshell. You need to get that one back for Bring Back My Bar, guys. It's this amazing suntan lotion, happy smell that I think was the scent of the month several years ago. But to kind of get that same basic idea, we did find a mix which is a cube of coconuts for coconuts and a cube of by the sea in the same warmer and it was excellent. It doesn't quite have the strength of sea sun and fun, doesn't quite have that sunscreen note, but it gave you that wonderful like beachy fresh goodness that was very good. So I would really, really recommend that you mix those two and the other clamshell went flying, so we'll just leave it down there. <laughs> okay, another day I wanted really citrusy and fresh. And I know I did coconut lemongrass, but that was in my brick. So forgive me, I don't have it to show, but I did coconut lemongrass. I did cocoa lime in other warmers. Mm, cocoa lime, creamy coconut, zesty lime, really, really nice, happy, happy scent. And I have this last half a bar of mojito mambo. So I did one cube of mojito mambo in one of the warmers to complement those. And this has mint. I love the mint in here. It's got like a club soda effervescence and then it has all that lime on the bottom. Such a great bar. I miss this one. I don't know that that many people are as attached to it as I am, but I would love to see this back if I could grab it in a flash sale or do it and bring back my bar in the future. So then there was a day where we had heat and sunshine. So I had to start melting some pineapple and pina colada cha-cha. Ooh, there we go. Pina colada cha-cha. Beautiful smell. A little bit on the smooth and gentle side though. I always have trouble smelling this well enough in my warmers. So I know that this has rum. It's got that creamy cream of coconut type coconut and some pineapple and it is a beauty. It's just hard for me to get a lot of performance out of. Then at the same time, from last year's summer collection, one of my several bars of coconut daiquiri, which is more banana and lime and coconut and sort of a tropical drink scent. It's so good. And this one's sort of a medium level performer. It is unique. Never smelled anything else quite like it. And I enjoyed those two together that day where it was nice and hot. Then there was a day where it was really rainy and gross. So we did apple butter frosting, which is one of my all time favorite bakery scents now. Mm, I hope they bring this thing back in the fall. It's in my club. So buttercream frosting, a good amount of spice, and then a mellow apple. Beautiful. Then we have baked apple pie. And honestly, I should have just put in the apple butter frosting because the baked apple pie on that particular day was too heavy. That doesn't happen to me often. But it was just too much for that day. So there's a lot more cinnamon in here. It's definitely more of like a fall smell, although I typically am happy melting it all year, but it's a little more cinnamon than I wanted. And then a couple cubes of cozy chai mixed with some vanilla bean buttercream in the back room. Oh man, I, I need to melt this more because it's in my club and I think of it as a special bar so that I don't melt it. This is the loveliest spice scent. It's just happy. It's good any time of the year. I think Scentsy says that there is vanilla and caramel in here with all the spices, like a chai latte. I just get the most wonderful creamy spices. It's amazing. And then another day I was working on more of the red, white, and berry pie, but I wanted to compare it in separate rooms with apple cherry strudel. Now, if I could only keep one in my club, I think apple cherry strudel wins because it has more depth. I love both of them, but apple cherry strudel has this wonderful 
cherry and apple mix that I don't think I've ever had in another Scentsy bar and then that hit of puff pastry at the end. It does not last a long time, but the scent is so good. Like you really want to go grab uh, a cherry turnover or some really nice juicy sugary cherry baked good when you have this in your warmers. And what I found comparing it to the red, white, and berry pie was that the apple in this gives it more depth and it holds more scent in the room while it is going. It's just one that goes great and then it just dies after a few hours. But man, this is a good smell. I'm very happy that it's still in my club. And on the same day in the Florida room, I did tangerine creamsicle and that was so yummy because this is like a creamy tangerine vanilla mango kind of deal. Oh, wonderful. It is so ice creamy and tangerine-y and just delightful. So here's just more of red, white, and berry pie that was in the pile. And um, it was good. So all of those were going in different warmers. It was super sweet and sticky in the house and it was wonderful. So then we had another day that was kind of cold and I really wanted stargazing. That is a scent that I crave and I don't melt it often. So this was a scent of the month a while ago. This has lilies, which I think is what I love about this smell. And then cotton and vanilla clouds, they say. Oh, is this nice. It's kind of like jammy time, but it's softer and more sultry, a little bit more grown up. I love this. So I enjoyed that very much in the front room. And then to kind of take the edge off of that, because it can be a little intense, I did some blue sage and tonka, which is a lovely masculine bar. Really smooth. It's got a uh, black lavender and then the sage and the tonka bean. Kind of hard to describe because it's not cologne in your traditional sense, but it's very good. It's sort of warm, sort of cool, sort of soft, sort of sharp, all at the same time. Lower level, but good strength performer. And then my last cube of vitamin M, I threw this in my bedroom. I have one more full bar of this. This is the most intriguing quirky scent. It was from the vitamin collection. It's got like what? Sandalwood and lavender, I think. It's an odd combo, but I love it. I absolutely love it. So I didn't club it because there are so many lavender smells, but I enjoy that. And that cube, one cube of that will go for like three days in a smaller space. So it's good. And then the only other things, oh, a couple other things that I missed. I did a mix in the kitchen of caramel pear crisp, which I like but I don't love, with a cube in the same warmer of oats and honey. And that made a real caramel and pear, and there's apricot in here too, this beautiful fruit crumble. Absolutely delicious. So if you have oats and honey, either in your stash or in your club, this is the best mixer. It is good by itself, but it's amazing to bring to life fruit scents that need some bakery. And even though it says caramel pear crisp, all I get is like a 90s pear, almost like a body care pear, little bit of caramel, so little that you can't even tell it's there, and then this undertone of a different fruit, which is the apricot. And then last but not least, a couple more things that were done in the bedroom. One cube of the most delicious Kahiko Hula, which was last summer's Bring Back My Far. This is so good. I don't honestly remember the notes, but I feel like there's probably papaya and maybe some mango in here and there's this creaminess that's just delightful. This went for two full days. It was lovely. It's light and creamy and tropical. And last but not least, just a little bit of pink haze, which is such a comforting, sugary, sweet scent. I think this has what? Fondant, nectarines and berries, and like a marshmallowiness, beautiful bar. So that is everything I've been getting through and I will see you guys later this week for another edition of what I've been warming, but this time it'll be BBMBs and I'm trying. My husband was talking in our uh, cold sniff video about how I never do notes. The only time I do notes is for brand new bars for Bring Back My Bar because there are too many to process when I do the massive warming that I do where I throw a cube of everything and everywhere and then stuff my nose in all of them because I want to get these out as soon as I can to you and it would take two weeks almost to do it in the normal way. So that Blitzkrieg warm, I do have to do notes for. I'll see you later this week. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And my question of the week for you is, what are you most excited about, about all these limited time offers that are coming out? Like, do you have a favorite bar that's coming back in Father's Day? Is there one in the Bring Back My Bar that was like your loss of life and you're so excited that it's coming back, you know, and uh, all that jazz. So let me know. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.